I certainly have great sympathy for those who have been sexually abused by priests in the past. Sexual abuse by priests created a crisis of faith for many Catholics. For Father Thomas Eichenberger, that crisis turned personal. I got a phone call September 1st from the vicar of clergy telling me that a stranger um, that I'd never heard of had accused me of sexual abuse when this person was a minor back in 1977. Eichenberger says it happened shortly before the deadline for victims to file legal claims against the archdiocese. He filed his claim without the name of a priest. The priest says his accuser was a student at Holy Assumption in West Dallas in the late 70s and eventually named Eichenberger. The district attorney declined to prosecute and the archdiocese investigated. Last Sunday, Milwaukee's archbishop sent a letter to the parishioners of St. Francis Borgia Church saying the investigation determined the allegations were unsubstantiated. Father Eichenberger is returning to church. The archdiocese took it seriously and they uh, investigated it. So that was really good and it cleared him and Everyone here is just really happy about it. A local Catholic priest has been put on leave while... To turn on the television and see my face on the news being accused of something, my name in the newspaper, it's worse than humiliating. It's um, just a dagger in your heart. Eichenberger says he forgives his accuser. He's just hoping that false report doesn't hurt victims whose allegations are true. In Cedarburg, Colleen Henry, WISN, 12 News. Father Eichenberger returned to duties at St. Francis Borgia this week.